What's up guys, this is Junior from CR42 Hunting. We got another really, really cool 30 Super Carry video compared to the nine millimeter. We got our Easy Shield. You see it's wet here. We did a water test earlier. Uh, this is a 3.1 inch barrel. I got my Canic TP90 Elite SC. It's also a 3.1 inch barrel. So we're gonna try to keep the barrel length the same. We got 30 Super Carry and nine millimeter. 30 Super Carry is new this year. Uh, it came out, it's supposed to have a little less recoil and a little higher capacity than 9mm. Um, and it's obviously it's 8mm compared to a 9mm. So a lot of the testing we've done so far, the ballistics have been very, very close to each other. But we've done this paper test before with other calibers. Today we're going to do the paper test with our hollow point from 30 Super Carry and 9mm and just see which one comes out on top. Okay, first shot with the 9mm, let's get a baseline. All right, all right, Gideon, let's hit, let me count these, man. Let's see how many we went through. All right, there's the entry in the first stack. So one, wow, look at that, man. That nine millimeter the hollow point didn't even come out of the first stack. So you know what? I don't think our 30 Super Carry is gonna come out of the second stack either. So here's what we're gonna do. I also brought some FMJ, some full metal jacket. So we'll, we'll take a shot with the 30 Super Carry hollow point. Then we'll take a shot with the nine millimeter full metal jacket. And then we'll take also a shot with the 30 super carry full metal jacket and see what happens. All right, we'll take a shot with the hollow point from 30 super carry. I don't think it's gonna go through the first stack either. All right, let's check it out. So here's your entry, stack number one. And yep, just like I predicted, it did not come out of the first stack. So. Let's grab the full metal jacket from both of these and uh, see what happens. All right, so here's the ammo that we're gonna shoot next. This is nine millimeter, 115 grain full metal jacket from Federal. And this is a hundred grain, 30 super carry full metal jacket from Federal. So we're not, I'm gonna take a shot with both of these and see if we get a little bit more penetration. Okay, we're about to take a shot with the full metal jacket, nine millimeter. All right. Let's see what we got, Mr. Gideon. That's number one, in and out. Can't, looks like, uh, I don't know if it came out of the second one or if it just, I think that's just the energy on that. Yeah, I don't think it came out of the second one. So into ream number one, we can feel it in there. We may yank that out just to see what it looks like, but it only went through one, had a little damage left and it uh, damaged obviously your second ream. So we'll line up and take a shot with the 30 Super Carry and see if we get anything different. And now we'll take a shot with the 100 grain 30 Super Carry full metal jacket. All right, let's see if we got any different results. So there's your entry, number one. And same thing, just did it number two. So again, guys, another test with the 30 Super Carry and the nine millimeter. So there's a link above where you guys can see the other videos that we've done with the 30 Super Carry and the nine millimeter. Go check those out. I put the link there right now. But these are pretty equal again. Every test we've done so far, 30 Super Carry and 9mm have both been pretty equal. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Junior, out.